Greetings, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, stuff like that. Uh, this is a tutorial video for a new module that I have created for the wonderful VCV Rack uh, program. Um, I'll get right into it. So the new module is called Father and Son Patch Sequencer. The idea is to be able to sequence um, the actual connections between modules. So I'll demonstrate what I mean. Um, I have a pretty simple patch set up here with a sequencer um, connected to a master clock. Um, and currently nothing's actually plugged into the oscillator and I have the volume turned down because it's kind of annoying. Okay, so just an unchanging uh, square wave basically with a filter at the end. So my sequencer here, I'll take uh, channel 1 of the sequencer output. Okay, now we're modulating the uh, the frequency of the of the square wave, or I could plug this into the pulse width. It creates a different effect. I could plug it into the CV input of the release of the envelope. So I'm using the same uh, row one of the sequencer here to modulate these different things. I can plug it into the cutoff frequency inputs uh, of the VCF, and all these give a different effect. So I'll turn us down here. Um, I created the father and son patch sequencer, so you can find this uh, in the VCV rack uh, store for free. Uh, it's called in a computer scare and father and son patch sequencer. So I'll add this. So if you're familiar with the uh, mental modules patch matrix, it is sim has offers similar functionality with one addition. So what I will do is take uh, on the input here of the father and son patch sequencer, I will connect uh, row one of the voltage sequencer and in channel the first output of father and son patch sequencer I'll connect to the FM input of the oscillator. I'll turn our volume up and if I uh, click the patch matrix here see now you can hear that now we are modulating the frequency with row one of the sequencer. Okay, so big deal. This works the same as if I plugged it in, but here's the advantage. Um, if I edit step two, currently I'm editing step one. If I edit step two, and I connect channel two of the output to the pulse width, and I uh, move the active step of father and son patch sequencer to step two, now it's modulating pulse width, same as if we actually connected this cable uh, from one to the next. But the advantage now is this can be automated. So I have a clock divider here, and let's say every two bars I will move the step of, uh, or I will clock the step of father and son patch sequencer. Okay, so now you can basically automate connections uh, between things in your patches. This work, Currently we're using this for a CV signal, but this would work equally well for triggers, for audio, or for effects chains, or whatever else you'd want to do. So let's make it even a little more complex. So we'll take step, now we're editing step three of father and son. And you see that this red indicator is saying what the connections are for the active step. So this is kind of telling you where the sequencer is while you're editing another step. So now I'm editing step three. I'll connect the third output to the CV of the release and activate this. And then on step four, I'll connect that to the frequency, cutoff frequency input of the filter and activate this. So on step four, the sequencer uh, output is connected to the frequency input of the filter. And I'll move this up to four steps. So now this will cycle through four steps.
limited to just one input. If I wanted to add, say, an LFO, I'll use mental modules quad LFO, randomize this to get some different rates. I'll plug in all of these here, and let's make step, say, step three really crazy. as well so step two I'll modulate the release of the envelope with the third LFO say So notice randomize will only randomize the active step that or the step that I'm editing. And finally, the last input is the shuffle input that has the same effect as randomizing the module uh, from the right click. Context menu, and that this will also only sh uh, randomize the step that you're currently editing. So let's do this every every bar, and also let's speed up how uh, often father and son moves through its patch. Let's do it every beat. Every one step out of every four, it shuffles it. So three quarters of this stays the same, and the other quarter changes. Let's make the whole thing wacky. So I wanted to use uh, basic modules for this um, that I was hoping people would be familiar with so uh, they could get ideas for how to use this in a more complex way. This is a pretty simple um, example, but I hope you try out father and son patch sequencer and any sort of feedback is welcome. Thank you so very much for watching.